I think they're playing. There's either yeah, they're starting. Yeah, they're starting. I can hit the nares. Yeah. Because right. they're gamers. Just the game. All right, so pretty much 8%. Powell will just start the game at 40. Yeah, we got the we got the nair train. We got the the God's honest effort from DK. Just yeah. as good, just as good as the nair train. Oh, How even better. Oh. Uh, high ceilings, high ceilings. Getting the getting ding dong from the side platform. Oh, this is gonna be nothing. Okay, it was almost cool. Um, almost sick. Do you know how many times these two have played this uh, season? <laughs> this season just started, but There's probably a couple. Nah, it's been like a that month. Was, wow, that killed. That was the not top optimal. Guy. He yeah, held in. Okay. He, he was just, probably holding in, thinking it would be the up throw, but he, he was holding in, hoping not to get down thrown. I think, but he That's didn't right. react. Just being lazy. He was he was going for the world right there. Oh my god. I he feel was like back I'm getting a ledge. Yeah. Yeah, he's just, you gotta get the ledge traps on DK. If you don't get the down tilt, you just gotta run backwards because you yeah. can just keep him in the corner. He doesn't have Yeah, something. I saw that. Yeah, I saw. Oh, Ooh. nice tech. Uh, I saw that auto article he did at ledge. It kind of just seemed like he did it eventually, but wasn't actually looking at where uh, Eddie was going. It's the autopilot. And I get that too. Whenever I'm yeah. playing Palu, I'm like, ooh, I, they're off stage. I can do this. You can kind of autopilot because you just have a, you know, but not against Eddie. Not now. Yeah. Eddie's too fast. Eddie's been through this already. He knows what to do. Three stocks to one and probably DK's worst matchup. Bottom three at least. It's but bad. That's just, that's just another day in the office for the Eddie Kong. What do you, what do you think's worse? Palo DK or Roy DK? Palo DK. It's Palo DK, Sora DK, and like one other like sword that has like auto zero to deaths on him. Like this, oh, Pika. Roy. Pika, actually. Pika's the sword that has auto zero to deaths on him. Pichu too. Pichu's not a sword. Pichu is the sword. No, that's Wario. Pichu. Wario is the sword. Pichu no. is not a sword. No, Pichu's Pichu ears is every trade. Pichu's his ears are disjointed. Wario has nothing. Poor guy. What does uh, Pichu hit you with his ears with? Up smash? That's yeah, it. Nair. No, Nair's his whole body. He puts his ears into it. Uh, he misses puts the his fastball. Soul into it, okay? <laughs> he puts his whole <laughs> Pichu's ears into it. Anyways, we got. We got Palu doing the Palu thing, zero to fifty, light yeah. work, sixty-two, maybe a little more, a little more close like, troubles. I feel like if I'm sure of this situation, he's kind of like going for a lot of like very basic stuff, and not really necessarily. Like, I feel like he's not thinking too hard about like where he's going, but he's also. I think he also just has this thing where he tends to warm up as like a set goes on. Not he's definitely just really like habits like, right now. I see. Yeah, exactly. And he's definitely just thinking about what stage he's going to next, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Because 130 against DK, you're going to get back aired at ledge, dude. Yeah, or up tilted okay. at center. Wow, that kill that like what? That was some Lucy stuff. That was 130. Uh, the back hit, he down tilt, back hit, up tilted. That's crazy. He's like a sword character now. Yeah, he's got some. Eddie Big buffs and nerfs his character as he pleases. And if he missed the, uh, if he hit the tech and he rolled in, he would have gotten grabbed probably, or he would have had to do something because his back would have been facing. So if Eddie tried to grab there, it probably would have worked. Right, Pop level the 24. Surprising. There's been 24 of these guys, dude. Since oh what? The start of, like earlier this summer? Yeah. No, before that, like April, Marchish. I think it's this season of twenty of Pop the Bubble. Like no this shot. instance. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant season like PR season. I'm no, like, no, it's like smoking. Yeah. Sixty four. Seventy four. Just a just very par for the course, like two two neutral ones each. What I'm noticing from Eddie is he's just taking and holding center stage way better and way more because of it. He's just like, he's just like exerting his pressure right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he missed the grab on the he, back yeah, air. Because he missed the back much, air, yeah. he missed the grab. Alright, gets a grab on neutral, get up. Bah! That's death? Wow, no. Didn't down throw to go for the edge guard because he just thought he'd die straight up from the forward throw. No, but Spiro really with a good I'm, DI on this side. I'm very surprised Spiro went back to here, but I understand why he does. I mean, I, I, I kind of get it. It's just like a FD. FD is really good versus uh, Eddie Kong. Uh, Alright, this should be death. Free. You don't miss those. Not Spiro, at least. He will never miss those. You shouldn't. It's literally a power backer. Even if he does up B, if you trade with up B, you still win. 
Nah, not even. They gotta buff Palu back air. But like, they do. Palu's just hitting them in the corner. It doesn't really hit anything because Palu back air has no range because it's a bad move, so. I personally think they should revert Palu down throw, but. <laughs> Bring it back. Give me the down throw back air true. It forward, throw, forward air back air. You know how many mint tiers that invalidate? <laughs> okay, really nice off smash. So dead. Never seen a more dead DK. Never seen a more at 40 DK than this guy in okay. a second. Oh, never mind. Wow. He got I like the that up he had a hit up out is something he's been using lately. I know that because he did that to me earlier today. But <laughs> all right, he's got such a good read on like Spirit. Just wanted to hold in on him. He just knows. He knows habits. Yeah. All he does is That's take the get... habits. He That's what he gets. Noodle clips. All right, ding dong. This is a best of five. So oh, dang, I'm my card. this is not the end of the road, no matter what way it goes. Spiro just landing with an air, knowing that DK yeah. can't do shit about it. <laughs> I'm surprised he just committed to the back, uh, back around the rollout there. I feel like he could have just gone for another Nair covering the platform with some arrow momentum. But I mean, still looking good for him. Very doable for both players. One thing about Eddie is that it doesn't matter what habits he does because he's DK and he's so big that you'll cover three of them at the same time anyway. So, yeah. Eddie can... I'm surprised can... he's still killed. I mean, he double jumped into it. It's yeah, but like, Palu up is strong, dude. He's 100... also heavy. 118 hit. At the top of the screen. It... Oh, uh, Palu, Spira. Yeah, going to Hollow Bastion. Battle for right, yeah, expected. Smaller ceiling. Look Better for Ding Dong. Behind Eddie. What? Look who Lucario behind. Oh, all right, never mind. He's scheming. He's watching. <gasps> That's a TO. Yeah. That's the tournament organized today that seated uh, me and Zach into each other, Jason, Zach, and you. Nair, 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 back air, forward air, oh my god. Does he attack? Oh, wow, does he get stuck in the tech? Does not directional air dodge, does live that. Luckily. I would have, I would have directional air dodged. Half of us directional air dodge there, not even on purpose. <laughs> All right, here we get him at the 83%, we got him at the juggles. Okay, yeah, gets a back air off the Smack frame track. Off, goes for the projectile, Spiro will just auto. Does get the back air. Auto one of the two projectiles as soon as you get off stage if you don't have a fast recovery and you are automatically oh, dead once you get to 66 or something. I think it's like 64 or something on Palu to like 60. I think it's like 60s just period. Pretty much, yeah. 60, 70 range. I like that falling up into the F tilt. Didn't really get much off of it. Probably could have gotten more if you went for a down tilt, but I understand why you wouldn't want to. So he's not doing Nairs at zero because, like, Nair is uh, not disjointed, and, like, if yeah, Palu would grab the up air, sometimes it wouldn't work. Pal or DK up air is, like, his most disjointed move by far. And that jaunt is huge. And he has down B. What do you mean? Down B? Yeah, down B's pretty disjointed. And it's just fast and, like, big. It's not fast. No, but it's like... On the ground it kind of is, so not in the air. When you're doing it in the air, he moves so fast. You know, oh, okay, it, like, yeah, yeah. It, he's scary. He's dead. Oh my god. He is Donkey Kong. Eddie Kong running away, running to center, getting hit. <laughs> he's at 80. Doom is near. Oh, he lived. Yeah. Oh, he's... Up? Uh, in the corner? Just Jumps. go for the reaction ledge trap. Spiro is not trying to corner trap him. He is terrified yeah. of Eddie getting off ledge. He's terrified of getting grabbed, that's why. Oh, if he, miss, he, if he lifts once on shield, he gets grabbed. He's, he's at dead. Ding Dong. Ding Dong. Oh, he's not in Ding Dong anymore, I don't think. If he doesn't have oh, he's, Yeah, he's at this percent, though. And that is going to game four. 2-1. This set is going fast. There's Spiro's saving time, and like, Spiro's not taking he's, his yeah, time. He, he's mashing too much. He's playing this matchup like he doesn't have really good zone for some reason. When you're playing Palu in this matchup, you can just kind of react. You can do the dash attack when they do it. You can do back air. You can just... Yeah, you could be playing a little bit more reactive and using time as a resource. You can just keep short hop around and then you could back air on reaction or even you could do a rising nair if they try to go in. You have so many options with Palu in this matchup that the fact that he just keeps running in is a little strange because of how good Spiro is in like just the game period. Okay, he's taking his time. He's playing neutral. Oh, he jumped in, didn't press anything. Yep. Oh, he's going for that. If he slingshotted those nares, it would have hit. He really kind of needs to do the thing that like Shane does, where he like he doesn't he'll be right like outside your burst range and kind of just swing where he thinks he wants to go. I never actually like just... punish. Never actually like trying to force a shield or anything, 
but instead just being like if you want to move away from that position like you're going to have to guess i think spiro is this season why he's placing horses because he's actively trying to move faster and he doesn't have the mental timings for his moves like he's trying to do up air late up air fast fall like he did that one right but before he did an up air fast fall that just didn't work because he's trying to play too fast bro he usually plays all right that was spaghetti as hell yeah he's just dropping stuff but he's it's still the matchup at the end of the day yeah. how bad can you do if you're doing this matchup or you yeah, feel like I'd be better. 150 late hit, still kills. Probably with full DI out, but you can't really do that while you're recovering. Dead. Nope. No, it doesn't land on the platform. It's a back around the rollout. Eddie tried to Battery. do like the. He tried to flick his stick and do the uh, giant punch turn, charge turnaround and then do a back air, but he just got back air, I think. I think it, it might just be me, but I feel like Eddie's movement overall with DK has gotten so much better. So much watches. cleaner, too. Not even just like better. Ooh, wow. That's just simple and clean. That was fine to Oh! <laughs> the opposite of simple and clean. <laughs> yeah, Why'd what that you... work? Be what do you mean? He's a d he did a. He uh, did a side D at a hits. Like, get up. Yeah, it was smart. Because he was there. Hey, if it works. If it works, it works. Okay, he's going deep. Oh, he missed. He could have just countered. He could have just waited. Spiro's trying to play too fast. He's trying to end the. He's trying to jump scare with back air. You know, he's trying to get in there before. He's trying to play like he's a rush down. Yeah. Which he usually does that anyway, but like. Oh my god. He's just. I just don't think he wants to let Eddie start cooking because once Eddie's cooking. Yeah, once Eddie's cooking, like he makes a five-star meal. Once Eddie's cooking, you're on Twitter. That's true, yeah. You're on Twitter getting <laughs> JV3. You're on Twitter getting JV4 and everyone calls you dog shit. <laughs> Even though you've been any locals yeah. <laughs> that they'd go to. Poor Kooky. Poor Kooky. Poor Kooky. Hey! What? Okay. <laughs> Dude, I guess he F tilted or something to extend his hurt box. F tilts the short it. He probably grabbed. I think he tried to. I don't know. Yeah. That. I'm just the commentator. Yeah. They probably know more than I do. I don't, Definitely about I don't DK. know shit. I don't know anything about DK, dude. I just be mashing. Ooh, if Eddie wins this yeah. and I win my next set, I get to play him. Is he going to go here? Where is it? Yeah, sack. Uh, what is it? Where'd they go? Kalos. Um, what's the last Yeah, because Eddie um, won? last stage Eddie won on his Hall of Fashion. Yeah, so we can go here. It's empty. Boom! All right, Boom. Uh, free forty percent. Oh my God, forty-two and a neutral win. This guy's crazy. Forty-six. Uh, like got hit on the last there. hit. He might have been going for a parry on the last hit. I don't think that's a thing, but I would have go for, gone for it too, to be fair. Yeah, he can't go in. That's like the perfect yeah. height for it. He doesn't need to go in at this point. DK like, got look at the, the percent lead he has. I mean, it's still first stock. You still gotta. Make yeah. the first stock go your way. And DK with Rage is still like... Nah. This is DK BK, dude. I'll, I'll gladly draw out my first stock for like three minutes if it means like I can keep a lead. I mean, yeah, but... Oh, if he rolled out, he would have <laughs> been at like 90. I've, I know that setup. When I see Eddie fish for something and I've been hit by it already, it just replays in my mind. Oh, he's going for the... Yeah, he, he has those options. Uh. So, oh! Gross. That up smash is big. Why that hit? I don't know, dude. <laughs> All right, back air chills and kill. Ooh, jump scare. Why is he going for the explosive right here? I would have gone for the jump scare too, to be fair. But he, yeah. again, he's just playing too fast and he's trying to jump scare Eddie with his aerial. Yeah, it feels, it's weird. He's like just trying to cover the weirdest things. Whenever he's trying to jump scare, Eddie's so ready for someone to do a out of nowhere aerial that he doesn't hit them and then he gets reversal because he does them. But every time he plays simple and he just goes for the back air when DK jumps, he gets the kill. It's very much so like the way that he wants to play is not working like the way that he should play, which yeah. is unfortunate. But we all kind of know that situation. When you don't want to camp, but yet you're fighting a Sonic, so you just lose. When you, when you don't want to camp, but you're fighting DK, it's a 50-50 at that point. He's a good scrapper, but 90% of the characters in this game are a good scrapper. But since he's Why'd that work? Oh my god. Hey, <laughs> don't hate the player. 
Yeah, when DK's okay, yeah. only thing that he has is scrapping, he can't get in. If you're rushing in to try and fight him head on, then you're just giving him the benefit of like yeah. being able to use his tools and you are dead. Wow, that's death. All right. Last stock, zero percent. Or, no, 40. Once, oh no, he drops it! Once Spiro gets to mid percents, he's not even just like pressuring the back of Eddie's shield like he should. Just cross up every time so you're behind. Yeah. Like, take the back air. Go to I'm surprised. Group. That's the first time he's done the, the monkey punch. This game. Uh, off ledge, this set. No, he did it once before. He didn't do okay. it off ledge, really, but he jumped back off and jumped on and monkey punched, giant punched. Okay, this is scary. Ooh, that was <gasps> almost based. Oh, that's and it. You are dead. No. no. Good guy. Too much rage and a little. I think one more, one less percent with that rage would have killed. Yeah, that probably. That setup. Seventy-two is what he killed last time on with a little rage. So, a little too much juice. Dead. Yeah, that's death. Oh no. Good di. He tried to catch him with the jump scare di. Oh spaghetti. With the back air, it won't be death. Oh my God. Can you just get this ledge trap? Oh no! He he, he's trying to be too fancy. He's. If he no, just he kept just it simple, he would have gotten Being the scared of too much. Which is he fair. went for the up the other way. That should have been death, but oh that God, was he perfect that. timing. Yeah, and that's going to be I. Game 5, wow. 3 2. And the winner's finals versus the winner of uh, me 